Dynamic Data Mask uh, is a new feature in SQL Server 2016 allow you uh, to mask uh, a sensitive information for non-privileged user. Uh, for example, without without headache on the application layer, without uh, writing code to encrypt uh, this information. Let me show you an uh, uh, example. This sample database called uh, Sales App One. We will create a table called Employee Personal Data. This table have a column called Employee ID, Salary, uh, Email Address, uh, Voice, and so on. Actually, I have some of sensitive data because this one I will write a new code. Uh, uh, you cannot write in the previous version like SQL Server 2014 or uh, uh, 12, just 2016 called mask. This mask feature uh, will allow you to write some function to encrypt this information. Not encryption, but something like just mask. I will show you later called default email to uh, show instead of a normal email uh, like a fake email or something. Uh, to hide this sensitive data for the unprivileged user. Uh, let me create this table, okay? And there are random, email, partial, all of this stuff. I will uh, back to this point later. Okay, let me execute. Uh, this is how you create a table. I will grant access. I have, for example, for your information, there are a test user. Uh, this test user, you know, uh, is already uh, have a, a very small privilege for this database, okay. Uh, I will grant to, to him to select from this table, okay. Okay. Let me insert some of information. Actually, this is normal information. You know, and the application will send a very a clear information, not cipher information, not encrypted, and clear information like a, a voicemail, pin, email address, you know, salary, credit card number, all of this stuff. I need to hide this information for unprivileged user. Let me insert. If I select as administrator, as you see, I will choose. I will see the information with as normal. You see, without any encryption, with any masking. But if I execute, I will simulate by this ex execution as test user. You see, I will when I select by this privilege for test user. Actually, I will show you. Uh, a mask information, not uh, a real information. Like a salary, actually, is a normal salary. You see, where is the salary? This one, you see, normal no digits. Uh, here it's zero. Actually, if I up, this is uh, a mask for default. Email, you see, you will see like this. Uh, voice, not voice, uh, mail bin, actually, is random from zero to nine. You see. Nine, one, five. You know, uh, for every uh, select or for every time I select, I will retrieve a, a fake or new fake information, a new number, a new random number. A credit card. You see, it's a, a something like pattern or something, starting from zero. You see, I will uh, type x x x and dash. You see, and after this one, four number from the real information. You see, this is the real information. Uh, actually, I get this one, last one, you see, 211314, and it's with end, by end of uh, uh, 2211, and so on. You, uh, let me com complete the demo. Step 4, I will alter the phone number column to add mask. You know, after you define a column with uh, real data, I can mask, mask it again by alter statement. Let me show you this one, I will alter mask. Uh, for the home phone number to be partial uh, for dash xx and zero. Uh, execute as test user again. In the previous execution, you see the employee person that he can see real information or uh, normal information for the phone number. Now it's uh, masked. You see, uh, I can draw the mask by easy way and it's a very nice feature to add the mask and drop the mask uh, by easy way without any headache code or any written writing code and the application layer and execute as the salary again salary is real information or not masked information I can grant for the test user to see unmasked information you see this is a grant to uh, allow the existed user to see the real information not masked information 
again execute uh, and select from the table now it's uh, uh, real information not masked information this is, the, this is very very nice feature in sql server 2016 thank you